Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be creating a random number in Java. And so keep in mind, I'm doing this a really simple way. There's a, a more complex way using for loops. That's a best practice. However, uh, we haven't gone over loops or anything like that yet. So right now, for our purposes, this is going to work fine. We just want to generate a number. Um, and in this particular instance, we're going to generate a random number 1 through 10. So what we want to do is we want to have a new int. And an integer is a whole number. Um, it can be negative, so like negative 100. It could be 0. It could be 1,000. It could be 20, you know. Uh, so, but it can't be a decimal point or anything like that. It can't be, you know, 5.2 or something. So uh, we're going to be using an integer to go 1 through 10. And just like we declared our string data type, we declare an int by int and then we give it a name just like we gave our string a name before uh, i'm going to give this name a uh, rando rando is a good name for a random number and it's going to be equal so let's set rando equal to math dot random and we're going to multiply this value by 10. so i'm going to save this and you'll notice there's a red line under here it's going to tell me um, I need to add a cast uh, to int. So we've seen this cast before. Um, the reason for this is that this math.random produces a double, but we want an integer. So uh, it's no big deal here. We want to save this as an integer. So we're calling math.random, and this is going to give us a number that's between 0 and 1. Um, and why we're multiplying it by 10 is, let's say this gives us a number that's 0.5. We then multiply it by 10, uh, and it's now 5, and then we have our it turn, and then we turn it into an integer, and rando is now equal to 5. Let's say in the same instance we get 0.7. We multiply it by 10, and it's an integer, so then it's 7. So you may be thinking, this is cool, but what happens? How do we get if this is if this is zero through one, how do we get to number ten? Because the, if it's zero through one and not zero including one, the highest you're going to be able to get is 0.99, which times by ten is going to be 9.9 .9, turned into an integer. It's going to be nine. Well, the way we're going to be getting ten is we're going to be getting ten through uh, adding one to this number. So we have all this in parentheses, but I'm going to add another set of parentheses here, and then I'm going to add one at the start of math.random. And so here we have our number, random number 0 through 1 times 10 plus 1 is going to give us numbers 1 through 10. So we now have a random number that's being generated 0 through 1. In the next video, we're going to do some trickery and we're going to have it randomly output names every single time that you click that button. It's going to output a different random name. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up on Twitter, level up tuts, let us know what you're thinking. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching.